welcome to Java Fundamentals with Paul Chandler. This course is brought to you by javavideos.net. Module 1. Getting started. Using the main method. In this module, we're going to look at selecting a workspace in Eclipse. We're going to create a new project and a class. And we're going to create a main method for that class. We'll spend some time discussing different types of comment and we'll create your very first working program. This will be able to run from Eclipse and also we'll show you how to run it from the command line. Okay, without further ado, we'll move over to Eclipse. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to create a directory where we will put the project files for module one. Now, in this instance, I have set up in advance a directory called Java Videos Fundamentals and a subdirectory within that called Module 1. Now this is where we will put all the project files for Module 1. So I suggest you create the same sort of work directory structure there. So now we have created that, we can start our Eclipse program for the first time. We get a warning there to say it's uh, an unknown program because it hasn't got say, a certificate uh, signed but we don't need to worry about that we then get the workspace launcher up now this workspace launcher asks us to select a workspace now we're going to define the workspace as that directory we just created now it's just nicely set up for me there but you would normally do browse and go and find the directory you created then do OK and this takes a moment for it to run up Now the very first time you start up Eclipse, you will get this welcome screen. So we can get rid of that. Any night time you need to create it, to see it again, you can go down there and click welcome there from the help menu. Okay, now we have Eclipse up and running within the workspace we just created for this module. The next thing we need to do is to create a project. So we do Java project new Java project bring this down into the window we need to give the project a name so in this instance we will just call it module 1 main all the other settings we just leave as they are go through to next this we just leave as as they are as well at a later module we'll come through and look a bit more detail at those settings but now we have a project setup. So we now have a project. Within this project we're going to create our very first Java class. So there's a nice handy tool again here. So click this and we're going to do new class. This brings up another dialog box for us to fill out. Again we will leave most of this with the defaults. We need to give the class a name. So in this instance we will call it main one okay we get a warning coming up here saying the use of the default package is discouraged we will ignore that warning at the moment we will investigate packages in a later module within this series the only other thing we need to worry about here is we want to create a main method so we select this there and do finish So now we have our very first Java class created. 